All right, it's time for today's kid weather question. Carissa writes, what is a rip current? All right, it's that time of the year. It's summer. More and more of you heading out to the ocean front, to the beaches, and more and more we hear about the rip current risk. And a lot of times this is what leads to those ocean rescues by lifeguards. But what exactly is a rip current? Well, it is a strong, narrow current flowing outward from the beach. So if you get caught in it, it would carry you farther out and away from the water. Now, the best things to do if you are caught in one of these is to not panic. If you start swimming against it, you're going to tire yourself out. Best thing to do to escape a rip current is to swim parallel to the coastline. Now, these rip currents a lot of times can move as fast as eight meters per second. That's sometimes faster than most Olympic swimmers. So it is a pretty strong current. Again, swimming parallel away from the coastline or parallel to the coastline is the best way to escape it. Now, best thing to do is to spot it ahead of time so you can avoid it altogether. What does a rip current look like? Well, a lot of times it's murky and there's a lot of kind of uh, unpleasantness with the current itself. You can see it kind of kicking up uh, some mud and also some waves, some choppiness to the water there. And you can usually spot it from a little bit of a higher distance or a higher elevation so you can see that. Or you can just simply ask a lifeguard where there is a rip current and if it is present that day. If you have a kid weather question, shoot them on over via email or on social media. We're always eager to see what you have to ask and we'd be happy to answer them.